What was your name? Oh, Denise. Denise, I'm Steve. How you doing? Very nice. To nice to meet you. All right, everybody, what do you say, huh? Let's get her done. Uh, Saturday morning, oceanfront yoga. You know, some people came out of their house and said, you know what, too cloudy, not today. You may have had the same thought. You may be having that same thought like right now, like, I don't know, it's kind of cold. Don't worry, in about five minutes, you're going you're gonna to thank yourself. We're going to do that even before that for being here. You made the right choice. My name is Steve. I'm going to be guiding us through our breath-based meditation, everybody. We're here Tuesday, Thursday at 9, Saturday, Sunday at 10. Uh, we're live on YouTube right now, so if you haven't subscribed afterwards, we'll, we'll take care of that. But I'm glad you're here. Let's get started in a child's pose, please. So big toes towards each other, kneeling, you know, knees wide to the edges of your mat. Your hips can sink back to your heels. Your forehead can rest down, and straight away, I'll be honest, some, some days this, uh, this shape, this posture, really doesn't work for my body, so I would do something different, lay on my back, lay on my stomach, and you're welcome to do the same, whether it's now or with every posture, every shape that we take. Uh, you can just run your hands along your side body, palms face up, or reach them forward. So right away, you're just kind of feeling it out in your body, starting straight away to personalize this practice, which is what we want to do. But hey, over the next hour in this meditation, we're going to help to cultivate, maintain physical health, mental clarity, and an emotional sense of balance. There's a lot that's, uh, that's included in that. So going to be really beneficial. Thank yourself. Acknowledge your effort, your commitment for showing up to your mat, because it takes a certain kind of person. And let's just begin together by exhaling everything out. Let's take a big inhale through your nose. A big inhale. Biggest probably you've taken all day. And then exhale through your mouth, clear it, empty it out. Once again, inhale through your nose. Can you breathe in a little bit bigger? I want you to feel it in the bottom of your lungs. And then again, exhale through your mouth, empty, clear it. One more of those, everybody. Inhale. And exhale, empty. just like you've been doing. Breathe in through your nose. Nice and deep, everybody. Keep your lips sealed and breathe out through your nose. Nice and slow. On your inhale, think about breathing into the lower portions of your lungs. So if you can feel it in the bottom of your lungs, in your diaphragm, that's what we're looking for. And then keep your lips sealed, exhale, navel up and in, gently push your breath out. This is a hugely beneficial breath, everybody. This deep breath in, soak it up, that ocean air and all the vitality that rides along with it. Lips stay sealed, exhale through your nose, guide and push your breath out. Just like that, everybody. You know, I encourage you to personalize this child's pose, but personalize the breath. But if you can, you want to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. And as I said, we're, we're not trying to breathe our body wide. Maybe I didn't say this. We're not trying to breathe our body wide. We want to breathe our body tall and then wide. So when you try to breathe your body tall, you are initiating the breath from the diaphragm. And that's really, really good. That diaphragm is going to press down uh, massage and stimulate your digestive organs and your liver and your heart. This is good stuff, everybody. It matters you're here. Inhale. Exhale. 
Spread your fingertips really wide, everybody. Inhale, slide on up to your tabletop, to your hands and to your knees. And then on your exhale, just curl your toes and let your, let your, lift rather your knees up about two or three inches. Toes curl, knees up two or three inches. Now, steady your visual gaze, what we call our drishti straight down and that deep diaphragm breathing because these two things are just reflective of what's going on inwards on a deeper level. Now soften your face. Think about your neck being long on all four sides. You're really looking straight down. And then we're not here for much longer. Pull your hands and toes towards each other. And then what we're doing there is just sparking that internal fire. Take one more inhale here. And then exhale, lift your hips to the sky. Downward facing dog. You're a dogger, y'all, dogger. Pedal your feet out. Take it back and forth. Do what feels right here, everybody. So again, little chilly, little brisk wind. We're gonna build that internal fire. It starts with a spark, starts with a small flame, and then we're just gonna add on to that, everybody. Okay, spread your fingertips. Can you spread them a little bit wider? Now, chin to your chest, look towards your knees and towards your thighs. So your head is dropping down, your cervical spine is long. Now, put a little bend in your knees and then shove the ground away from you. Try to press your hips even higher with that soft bend in your knees. Uh-huh. One final thing, everybody. Try to wrap your shoulders around towards the front of your body so that your armpits are pointing towards the tip of your nose. Hips high, hips high, head dropping down. Look towards your knees. There we go. Take another deep breath in here. And that slow, calming breath out here, y'all. All right. Uh, from here. Inhale, lift your heels, roll forward to plank pose, your high push-up position. Awesome. And then draw your navel in, exhale, pull your hips back to the sky, downward facing dog. There we go, they're in a slow breath, therefore slow movement. Inhale, lift your heels, roll it forward like a wave rolling through the ocean. Draw your navel in, exhale, pull your hips back, downward face in. Another inhale, do it. Shift it forward, shoulders over wrists, breathe it in. Exhale, pull your hips back, downward, face in. This time, we're going to inhale, roll forward here, plank pose, high push-up position. You can drop to your knees, but shift forward, shoulders way in front of your wrists, and exhale. Let's see if you can lower down really slow without your hips collapsing, though, all the way down. Ah, elbows in, elbows in, ah. Now slide your hands back around your rib cage. Actively, can you press your feet down into the mat? Press them down, keep them down, lift your hands, and then inhale, lift your chest up just a couple inches. There we go, think about having no wrinkles in the back of your neck. Good adjustments, exhale, take her back down. Once again, inhale, lift it up, breathe it in. Feet are still pressing down, but you could probably lift your knees by engaging quadriceps. Exhale, take her back down. Inhale, number three, lift up to that perfect degree. Now you can press a little bit with your hands. Exhale, right back down. And then this one, inhale, lift up, cobra pose, bhujangasana. Hold this one, everybody. Now, again, we're going to pick our hands up off the ground and pick your feet up off the ground. Bend your knees to 90 degrees. There you go. Now take your hands and reach them towards the ocean so that your biceps are by your ears. Woo, and then press the, the soles of the feet, your soles of the feet to the sky. Lift your thighs off the ground. Engage your glutes. No wrinkles in the back of your neck, y'all. Look straight down. There we go. Thumbs facing up. Take an inhale. Lift up one more time. Breathe in that ocean air. Woo, exhale, release, and take her all the way back down. Inhale, press up to your hands and your knees here, your tabletop pose. Exhale, curl your toes, lift your hips to the sky, downward facing dog. From here, straight away, walk your hands back towards your feet. Ah, we got layers coming off all over the place already, y'all. And we're, we're not even scratching the surface. Now this forward fold at the back of your mat, you probably bend your knees a lot to start. 
because, you know, we're not too warm. And then ragdoll pose, pinkies are the crease of your opposite elbow. From that place, if you wanted to start to straighten your legs and press the back of your knees towards the street, not that much, brother. Come on, let's be honest. We're not, we're not that flexible. <laughs> Three more deep breaths here, y'all. Inhale. Little bend in those knees, bud. If there's a lot of space between belly and thighs, there you go. Exhale. Give me one more breath, huh? Inhale. Beautiful. Exhale. All right. Release your hands to the ground. Walk them right back to your downward face and up. Okay. Little bend in your knees. Little knee bend is your friend. Press your hips high. Drop your head down low. Now, remember the main focus of this practice, everybody, right? There's physicality to it and everything, but... The main focus is that deep diaphragm breathing. If you can, in through your nose and out through your nose. This is what makes the magic happen. Trust me on this one. Let's start to get her done, huh? Inhale, bend your knees some more. Press your hips back. Look forward. And at the very end of your exhale, you could walk or lightly hop your feet between your hands so that your heels and toes, you're touching together. Now, inhale, find a halfway lift. So you want to flatten your back parallel to the ground, little squeeze in your shoulder blades, and then exhale, fold down deep, dive in deep and empty out. Inhale, lead with your chest and rise. Let's come all the way up high to the sky. At the top, lean it back, stretch up and away and feel something. Beautiful. Exhale, we're going to fold all the way right back down. Dive in deep, your Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Flat back, lengthen out your spine. Exhale, plant your palms. Step to plank pose. Let's shift forward, shoulders in front of wrists. And exhale, lower halfway down. Take your elbows straight back. There you go. Now, inhales, upward facing dog. I saw that. Tops of the feet down, upward facing dog now. Shoulders back. Lift your knees. Exhale, hips to the sky, downward, facing, doggies. Beautiful, everybody. All right. So I saw a couple of us, hips sinking down, right? When you, when you move from this high plank to low plank, you want your shoulders and hips move to, to move together on the same plane. So this takes a lot of core strength. So you can drop to your knees if you need. Also, you want your elbows to go straight back. So if your elbows are going out to the side, my guess would be you have to shift forward your shoulders in front of your wrists more before you lower halfway down. It's that shifting forward that allows your elbows to go straight back. Okay, that's it on that. Inhale, bend your knees. Look forward here, y'all. End of your exhale, walk or lightly hop, feet between your hands. There you go. Inhale, give me that halfway lift. Hips pull back, head, crown of your head reaches out. Exhale, fold, dive in deep, and empty out. Lead with your chest, inhale, rise. Good, y'all. Take it up, reach it high, lean it back till it just feels like, woo, da, da, da. Exhale, fold, and take it all the way back down. Woo, you're surfing, everybody. Inhale, halfway lift, the wave of your breath. Exhale, plant your palms, step to plank. Remember, shift way forward, and exhale, lower halfway down. Inhales upward, facing dog, feed your heart through. Tops of the feet down, exhale, hips to the sky. Dogger, woo, dogger, y'all. Nice job. Now, I'll, the intensity level, as you know, is always up to you. But most of y'all know I encourage you to push yourself a little bit, right? Without challenge, there's no change. So I want you to walk uh, out of this park a little bit stronger, more balanced, a little bit better than before. So I'll bet you, even in this downward facing dog right now, if you wanted to enhance it, you could press a little bit. You could feel a little bit more. Good. Breathe. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward here. End of your exhale, walk or that light hop of feet between hands. 
Inhale, give me that halfway lift. Full breath, flatten your back, brother. Exhale, fold down deep. Dive in deep and empty your out. Inhale, rise. Float your torso up. Go reach it high. Lean it back. Just till your body, the sensation tells you that's far enough. There you go. Exhale, fold all the way down. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, left back and lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms, step to plank, shift forward. Can you bring your shoulders five inches in front of your wrists? Before you exhale, lower halfway down, elbows straight back. Ah, you're getting it. Upward facing dog, tops of the feet down, shoulders back. Can you lift your knees? Exhale, hips to the sky. Doggies! Woo! Saturday morning, y'all. 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago, you were like, eh, I don't know. But hey, I could see not only that spark, but now that internal flame, that heat, this tapas, as we call it, starting to build. Give me one more flow on your own. We've just done three together. I'll meet you right back in downward facing dog. Hey, and if you want to add something, you add something. Skip something. Brother, you can make the whole thing up too. It's all good with me. It's a breath-based meditation. And you're doing yourself a huge service right now, everybody. Good. Make it your own. Personalize every single portion of this practice. Every breath, every movement. Tops of the feet down and upward facing dog. And if you're trying to get your knees up in that upward facing dog, you don't have to do that by the way. But if you're trying to get your knees up in upward facing dog and that's not happening, well make sure the tops of the feet are down and then take your hands and bring them back about four inches. And that's the proper placement for your hand. But nice work, everybody. Let's inhale, lift your left leg high to this guy. And then bend your left knee. Scorpion, tell your leg. There you go. So left heel across towards your right shoulder. Open up the hip. There you go, guys. And then a couple big circles with your knee clockwise. Couple counterclockwise. Hey, some of y'all just dying to flip your dog? Go for it. Breathe well. Five. Oh, man, y'all. Woo! Four. Really nice. Last three. Two, all right. Inhale. Take it back, three-legged dog. Left leg to this guy. Breathe it high. Exhale, shift forward. Pull your left knee up into your chest. And then step it all the way through for low lunge. Uh-huh. Help it forward if you need. Stack your left knee directly above your ankle. Let your hips sink down low, but can you come higher on the ball of your back right foot? There you go. Now lift your heart up a little bit and jet airplane your arms along your side body. No wrinkles in the back of your neck. Look down. Steady your gaze. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Now, how graceful can you start to come higher on the ball of your back right foot and just lean into airplane pose, balancing? Yeah. All right, y'all. The question was, uh, how graceful? I got to be honest with you, not very, everybody. But more so that, you know, more graceful than I could have done myself, I, I must admit. You're doing amazing. Steady your gaze. Breathe deep. The balance will take care of itself. There you go. Give me two. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, option to reach your hands forward here, just an option. Exhale, standing splits, bring your hands to the ground. Walk them in towards your left foot a little bit. Oh, and if you'd like to take one or both hand around a calf or ankle, you can do that. I know you're feeling it here, everybody. That's a good thing. Last two breaths, inhale. Exhale. Good, take one more inhale here. On your exhale, step your right foot behind and across your left foot so the knife edges of your feet touch. 
There you go. Inhale, halfway lift, left back, lengthen out. Exhale, fold, dive in deep and empty out. Inhale, rise. Come up to standing. Reach your hands high to the sky. Grab your right wrist with your left hand. And then exhale, lean towards your left. Lean towards Mission Beach, press your hips to La Jolla. Let's take two extra breaths here, everybody. Now, head back a little bit so your throat's open. Good adjustment. Now, take your biceps back with your ears and dial your right shoulder back slightly. Give me one more. Can you inhale, straighten your arms? I want you to feel it ankle to wrist. Exhale, stay in here. Inhale, come right back to center. Both hands reach high. Exhale, fold all the way down. Dive it on in. Inhale, one-legged halfway lift. Lift your right leg and pull your chest out really long. Exhale, step it right back to low lunge. Kind of right back to where you started. Spin your back foot flat. Inhale, windmill open, warrior two. All right. Steady gaze, steady breath, everybody. If you want to bend and straighten in and out of your front left leg, go for it a couple times. Okay, steady gaze, steady breath. Find a long stance. Bend your front left knee, stack it directly above your ankle. And although those of us with tight hips, that would include myself, that knee wants to pull and lean inward, doesn't it? Uh-uh. You're going to aim true and point that thing straight forward. Now inhale, breathe your body taller. And then wider at the top, breathe in 360 degrees. Exhale, sink a little bit. Be active enough to feel it everywhere. Calm enough to hold it forever. Give me one more breath, y'all. Inhale. Exhale, all right. We're going to inhale. Reach forward here. Look for length. Exhale is extended side angle pose. Utita Parishvakonasana. Now, hey, forearm to thighs, all right. I mean, really, we're all going to find our own personal practice, our own rendition of this, if you will. But try to be a little bit lifted off your left thigh so there's a little bit of space there. And then can you roll your right shoulder back some more? So that your heart is pointing like a laser beam straight to La Jolla. And then take your right hand and reach to the ocean. There you go. Now we're getting some stuff cooking, ain't we, y'all? Five, option for left hand up parallel. Four, just an option if you want those flames to burn brighter. Three, I'm killing it. All right. And roll here. Up here. Two, stay low. <laughs> Inhale, reverse your warrior. Right here. Stay low in your lunge. Slide your left hand down the back of your right hand, rather, down the back of your right leg. Your left knee just wanted to lean inward, didn't it? Ah, pointer straight forward. Give me one more. How deep can you breathe here? Soak it up into every single cell. Exhale, windmill your hands to the ground. Step your left foot back. Shift forward and lower with control. Probably should have told you earlier, you could skip this transition if you wanted. Upward facing dog, you okay over there? Breathe it in. Exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing. Inhale, right leg, center high. Go ahead, y'all. Bend to that knee, stack of that hip. You don't circle that knee, you don't flip it that dog. You are flipping dog. You are kicking donkey. Breathe, y'all. Five. Four. Man, we're going to leave no stone unturned, y'all. Three. A physical exercise and a mental inner size. Two. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, shift forward, knee to chest. Step it all the way through to your hands. There you go. Now adjust. Again, you can help and slide your foot forward if you need. Let your hips sink low. Come high in the ball of your back, right foot. We don't want our knee in front of the ankle, though. There we go. And then lift your heart up a little bit, and you can jet airplane your arms along your side body. So the back line of your body is long, strong, and diagonal. Start slowly shifting forward, and here we go. Let's come to fly. Airplane pose. Dakasana, y'all. Now, think of it this way. Yeah, I'm not thinking like, 
I have to balance, I have to balance. I'm thinking steady visual gaze and steady breath, and then your brain will take care of that balance. Circle your left thigh inward, squeeze your shoulder blades. You're doing fantastic, y'all. Last inhale, you could reach your hands forward. I'm not saying I would, I'm saying you could though. Exhale, hinge at your waist, standing splits. Bring both hands to the ground. Walk your hands in towards your right foot. And then, you know, your heart is working all day and all week long to pump blood up to your head. Can you lift your left leg up to the point where your, your heart is having to work to pump blood up to your foot? Just kind of reversing the flow of the river, y'all. Give me one more. Inhale, lift it, breathe it in. Exhale, step your left foot behind and across your right. Knife edges touch. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, e, breathe in here now. Exhale, fold, dive in, and empty your out. Inhale, rise, float it up, reach it. You got your left wrist this time, everybody. Exhale, lean towards La Jolla, press your hips towards Mission Beach. Can you find a way to enhance this? Head back, throat open, there we go, biceps with ears. Straighten those arms. Give me one more. Inhale. Breathe in life, health, well-being into every cell. Inhale. Come back through center. Reach it high. Exhale. Fold. Dive in deep. And empty out completely. Inhale. One-legged halfway left. Left leg up and back. Pull your chest out long. One-legged halfway. Left leg up. Exhale. Step her back for low lunge. Spin your back foot flat. Inhale, warrior two, windmill open. Good, everybody. Find that alignment right down the center. Heel to arch. Now your back left toes can angle forward slightly. So your, your hips aren't, aren't totally in a direct line towards Mission Beach. Maybe towards uh, just a little inward rotation would bring your hips uh, about halfway down the pier, maybe a third of the way down the pier. Inhale, breathe taller, breathe wider. Where do you feel it in your body when you're breathing tall and wide? And then exhale, sink down. Give me one more breath, y'all. This is huge. Mega what you're doing. Exhale, all right. Inhale, reach it forward here. Exhale, extended side angle pose. Utita, parishva, konasana. Now make sure you're steady. And okay, like I said before, forearm to thigh is good. It's gonna keep you lifted, right? A little bit of space in between your thigh and rib cage. But let's not drop our, drop our ear on our shoulder. Now left hand, let's start to reach it towards the ocean. Ooh, palm facing down. Five, option for right hand up. Four, that's some supreme core strength, y'all. Three, flames, inner flames are burning sky high. Two, stay low, inhale, reverse your warrior. Oh, I know you're feeling that leg. Ah, you can do more. Without challenge, there is no change. And as you know, what we do here is hard stuff. Take an inhale, reach it, breathe it in. Exhale, windmill your hands to the ground. Step your right foot back. Shift forward and lower with control. Inhales upward, face and dog. Feeds your heart through, shoulders back. Exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing, dog attack, y'all. Man, inhale, bend your knees, press your hips back, look forward once again. End of your exhale, walk or hop both feet between your hands. Heels and toes all the way together. Inhale is that halfway lift. Flat back, lengthen out. Exhale, how deep can you dive? Empty, completely. Inhale, chair pose, sink your hips low. Lift your chest and reach your hands high. Awesome, exhale, let's take chair plane. So jet airplane your arms. Hinge at your waist, can you set your belly on your thighs? Your knees on your chest so your back is parallel to the ground. And now how's the back of your neck? Ah, oh, there you go, y'all. Shoulder blades, y'all. And then on your inhale, lift your heels and reach your hands towards the ocean. 
for a five. Hips sink down a little bit lower. Four. Heels lift a little bit higher. Three, you know, if you wanted to enhance this, I probably you probably wouldn't have to look too far, y'all. Two, take an inhale, please listen. Exhale, just set your heels to the ground. Keep your knees bent. Inhale, just lift your chest. We're right back to chair pose. Breathe it in and say sayonara to this one. <laughs> Woo, exhale, forward fold. And not a moment too soon, huh? Inhale, halfway lift, let back, lengthen out. Exhale, plant your palms, step to plank. Shift forward, lower with control. Let's do it, y'all. Inhales, upward facing dog. Feed your heart through. Exhale, hips to the sky. Look at you, doggeroo. Inhale, lift your left leg, y'all. Breather on up. We flow it now, y'all. Exhale, knee to nose. Push your breath out. Inhale, reach your left leg and send her high. Exhale, sweep your left foot through to your hands. You're in a low lunge. Please listen. Straight away, inhale, step your right foot forward behind and across your left. Right into your halfway lift, flat back. Ooh, that's a good listen, y'all. Exhale, fold. Dive in deep, for most of us anyway. Inhale, rise. Float your torso up. Reach high. Grab your right wrist. Exhale, lean towards Mission Beach. Your hips to La Jolla. Inhale, back up. Reach up and fill up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Dive in deep. Inhale, one-legged halfway lift. Right leg lifts up and back. Exhale, step her down to low lunge. Spin your back foot flat. You know what's coming now. Inhale, second warrior. Spread your wings. Heart to La Jolla. Exhale, extended side angle pose, everybody. Try to find some space. Create some space. Stay low. Inhale, reversing your warrior. Oh. Exhale, take it on down. Step it on back. Yee! Hi, y'all. Inhale, upward facing, heart coming through. Whoop. Shoulders back. Exhale, hips to the sky. So we dog her, y'all. Inhale, right leg, breathe her up. Exhale, knee to nose, but you know, maybe you can get forehead. Maybe not. Inhale, reach it high. <laughs> Go down the exhale, a sweep her through. It's a low line, right? Inhale, step your left foot forward, behind, and across, if that makes sense at all. Exhale, fold, dive, and empty your out. Inhale, rise. Good, take it up, everybody. You got your left wrist. Exhale, lean it just to that perfect degree. Personalize. Inhale, come on back up, reach it. Exhale, fold. Dive all the way down. Inhale, one leg at halfway lift, left leg up and back. Exhale, step her down to low lunge, back foot flat. Inhale, second warrior, spread those wings. Exhale, extended side angle pose, y'all. Inhale, reversing warrior. Woo! Exhale, take it on down, step it on back. You are doing phenomenal, everybody. Upward facing is your inhale. Exhale, pull your hips to the sky. Downward facing dog. Take a breath. Take a breath. Whew. As the intensity level rises and more layers come off, Hey, just another opportunity for thank yourself. Being thankful for, for being a person that does hard stuff. That is huge. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. End of your exhale, walk or that light hop of feet between hands. Inhale, give me a halfway lift. Flat back. Eat. Exhale, fold. Dive it on in, see? Inhale, chair pose. Sink your hips. 
left, reach. Exhale, chair plane, back is parallel to the ground. Uh-huh. Inhale, reach for the oceans and lift for your heels. <laughs> I don't know what I just said, y'all. Stay here, exhale, just drop your heels to the ground. I think I said reach for the oceans. Stay low, inhale, lift your chest, chair pose, breathe it in. Exhale, forward fold, woo! Dive it on in. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back and lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms, Chaturanga Dandasana, step back, shift forward, flow it on through. Inhale, that upward facing dog, heart, open it. Exhale, hips to the sky, so we dogging it. Inhale, left leg, breathe the road up. Exhale, knee to nose, push your breath out. Inhale, reach your left leg high to the sky. Exhale, low lunge, sweep through to your hands, stack knee above ankle. Inhale, right foot forward, behind and across, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, dive, and empty your out. Inhale, rise. Take it, reach it. You got your right wrist, y'all. Exhale, lateral flexion and extension in your spine. Inhale, back through center. Oh, exhale, fold, take her all the way down, y'all. Inhale, one-legged halfway lift. Right leg up, chest pulls out. Exhale, big step, all the way back, low lunge, spin your back foot flat. Inhale, warrior two, windmill open. Exhale, last time here, extended side angle pose. Give me that length, y'all. Woo! Inhale, reversing your warrior. Breathe it on in. Exhale, just windmill down to low lunge. Just take her to low lunge, y'all. Spin your back, right heel up. Inhale, pull your chest out long, breathe in. Exhale, twist your left hand high to the sky. Good, slide your left foot more forward, brother. We don't want the knee in front of the ankle. There we go. And then, hey, once you're here, can you adjust to become a little bit more stable and steady. And then from that place of stability, I'll bet you you can find a way to enhance this. If you wanted to uh, take a little bit less, drop a knee, but if not, let your hips sink low, press the back of your right knee towards the sky. On your inhale, your heel is driving back and your head is reaching out, y'all, there you go. And then navel in as you exhale, twist your heart to the heavens. Two more breaths, y'all. See what you can get cooking. You're doing fantastic. Inhale. And not only does the breathing create an internal compression that massages your organs, you can feel the internal compression here. This is huge. Inhale. Exhale, release your left hand to the ground. I wasn't gonna do this to you, but I'm gonna do this to you. If your back right leg is down, uh, pick your back right knee up. Inhale, your left leg high to the sky, three-legged doggy. Now flex your left foot, spiral inward with your left thigh, straighten your leg. Flex inward. Uh -huh. Now walk your hands back towards your right foot. Walk your hands back towards your right foot. Just till your left leg is parallel to the ground. Now you can bend your right knee a little bit. Find a halfway lifty. On your exhale, twist your right hand high to the sky. Now, I'll bet you this is going to be the most uncomfortable position you're going to be in all day. Uh, if not, I don't know what you got going on, but, but you, you need more yoga. Let, let's go. Two more breaths here, y'all. Inhale. Exhale, so if you can move through this with the inner quality of balance, right, the rest of your day is going to be a cakewalk. Take an inhale. Exhale, release your right hand down. Walk her right back to three-legged doggy. Uh -huh. Inhale, left leg to the sky. 
Exhale, sweep her right back through to low lunge. But now walk your hands to the right and straighten both legs and parallel your feet. Woo! And then stagger yourself with your neighbor if you're close because that's another uncomfortable position to be in, y'all. And then uh, if you want to grab your ankles or your big toes, go for it. And I've said this a couple of times here. Like when you do hard stuff, hard stuff you don't want to do, it increases your, or decreases, I should say, your stress response, but it increases a certain place in your brain, an area in your brain. Uh, it's called anterior, like I said, it's anterior something something cortex. I still can't remember it. Uh, this place in your brain has nothing to do with memory though, okay? Let's go one more breath, but it is a good thing to do. You're literally changing the size, the shape of your brain. Exhale, right. Hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, let back, lengthen out. Exhale, walk your hands right back to low lunge. And then step your left foot back to your right. Plank pose, high push-up position. Squeeze your legs all the way together. And then ground into your right hand and roll open to your left for side plank pose, Vashistasana. There you go. Hey, you could drop a knee, a forearm. But you gotta lift those hips, brother. There you go. I wanna see a crescent shape on your right side body. Hey, awesome. And if you're feeling strong and you wanna lift your left leg up, ah, be my guest, y'all. Five. Take your left hand and reach to the ocean. Four. We're just developing the habit of doing hard stuff. Three. To reach. Exhale, plank. Take it to the other side, y'all. Other side, see? Bashi stas, and roll it open. Go ahead, lift those hips. I'm watching over there. Come on, hey, you're getting there, buddy. <laughs> yes. Outer oblique strike. And then, whoa, Wally. Right about now, we decide whether we want the right leg up. Five. Right hand to ocean. Four. Man, you got a lot cooking, y'all. Three. To reach. Exhale, release. Either move through your flow or straight back to dogger, yo. Downward facing dog. Okay? Hips high, head dropping down low. Hey, everybody, we're 43 minutes in, okay? Stay with it. We're almost done with the warm-up. <laughs> Inhale, right leg. I haven't said that one in a while, y'all. Right leg, center high. Let's do it. You have to stay the path. Exhale, knee to nose. Push your breath out. Inhale, reach. Exhale, step her through, low lunge. Inhale, left foot steps forward, across, behind, halfway lifty. Exhale, dive, fold, and empty out completely. Inhale, rise. Take it up, reach it. You got your left wrist, last time. Exhale, feel every single part of your spine, everybody. Inhale, back up, reach and fill up. Exhale, fold, dive in deep. Inhale, one leg at halfway, left leg up and back. Exhale, step her down to low lunge, back foot flat. Inhale, surf the wave, open up, second warrior. Exhale, extending, side angle, Parishvakonasana, your last time, y'all. Inhale, reversing, warrior. Awesome, exhale, take it on down, low lunge, spin your back left heel up. Inhale, look up, chest and spine, pull long. Exhale, twist your right hand high to the sky. Like I mentioned earlier, you could drop that back knee to the ground if you wanted. 
you, you know, you could take your left hand and slide it more towards your right foot or even take that to the outside if you want more intensity there in your twist. And sometimes dropping that back knee will just give you a little bit more twist. will help you focus on that more. But either way, get some stuff cooking here, y'all. Feel something. Give me three breaths. And you. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale it out. Last breath. Take an inhale here, everybody. Exhale. Release your right hand to the ground. Back knee picks up. Inhale. Lift your right leg high to the sky. Flex your foot. Not point. Flex. Inward rotation. Straighten your legs. Here we go. Walk your hands back towards your left foot. Ah, uh -huh. inhale, look up a little bit and lengthen. Exhale, twist your left hand high to the sky. This is called Pavarita Ardha Chandrasana. Some people would say this is, you know, simply a, a simulated stressful situation. Some would argue that and say this is not simulated. This is a full-on stressful situation. Okay. <laughs> the hardest thing you're going to do all day. If you make your morning hard, your day is easy. Two breaths here, y'all. Here you do. Exhale. My more, y'all. Here you do. Oh, buddy. We're... Exhale. Release your left hand to the ground. Walk it forward. Three-legged doggy. Woo! Inhale. Right leg. Send her high. Exhale. Sweep her back through for low lunge. Now walk your hands to the left, straighten both legs and parallel your feet. But we're going to do this side different, everybody. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back and lengthen out. Now stay here, exhale, open your arms like airplane wings. A strong stomach and a flat spine, let's inhale, rise. Take it up to standing. And then shorten your stance just a little bit. Turn your left toes towards the street. Turn your right toes in slightly for triangle pose. Straight legs. Inhale, reach out. Look for length, length, length. Keep it a length and just twist. Tick-tock your arms, left hand down, right hand high. So your left leg, I say, is straight. But if you want a little micro bend there, for some of us with our knee, it's a little bit more comfortable. Remember, left toes are straight to the street. To the street. <laughs> Left toes are for the street, y'all. <laughs> it's a real sweet one right here now. Nothing short of a treat for your hips, your inner thigh, your hamstring. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale right. Inhale. Take her back up. Turn your left toes in, turn your right toes out. Remember, think about length. Inhale, reach out, out, out. Keep it a length, tick tock of the arms. Right hand down, left hand high. Woo! So if your heart, if your heart is facing the ground five feet in front of you, come up away from the ground and that'll give you more room to work with so far as rolling your left shoulder back and becoming more narrow. Nice, Rochelle. Two breaths, y'all. Utah. Give me two. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale, all right. Inhale, take it all the way back up. Exhale, just step your left foot to your right at the top of your mat. Hands to heart, face the ocean. Let's take her home, y'all. Take her home. Inhale, sweep it on up. Reach it back. Lift. Feel something here, y'all. Woo, exhale, let's fold. Take it all the way down and dive in deep. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant your palms, step to plank. Shift forward. 
Let's take her all the way down, y'all. Take her down. And then, okay, if you can, take her down, y'all. If you can, reach your arms forward, interlace your fingers, release your index fingers. Looking down so that your biceps frame your ears. Zip up your legs. Now, for some of us, this might be too intense for whatever reason, shoulder, whatever. You could run your hands along your side body. Either way, let's exhale everything out. And then inhale, lift everything up. I'm getting you. I'm getting you. I'm getting you. I'm getting you. There we go. The whole posterior chain doing some work here. If you want to be active as you get older, you need a strong but supple posterior chain. That's <laughs> scary. Take an inhale, lift it one more time. Exhale, release. Run your hands along your side body. Drop your left ear to your mat. Gaze right. Woo! From here, chin facing forward once again. This time, see if you can bend your knees. Grab your right foot or ankle with right hand, left with left. Uh-huh. Exhale everything out. And then inhale. Kick your legs up and back. Hey, and if, if, if this isn't working for you, you could do what we just did again, that, that last posture, or what we did in the beginning. But kick your legs up and back if you have them. I want you to, to see you get your thighs off the ground. Knees in towards each other, little bit. There you go, y'all. Five. Pour it on. Four, make it uncomfortable. Three, two, inhale, lift it. Ah, release. Opposite ear to your mat. Bend your knees. Windshield wipe your legs. And what do you say we meet back in downward facing dog when you're ready, huh? Let's really start to take her home. Inhale. Exhale. Take an inhale here. Exhale, just step your left foot between your hands. Drop your back right knee and move to half pigeon pose. Heel toe your left foot over to or past your right wrist. Now, if you're not familiar with this too much, Right, this can be hard on your knee, so if it's too much, skip it. But you want to pull your heel in towards your body, which helps to close and protect your knee joint. Yeah, like you don't want that shin parallel to the top of your mat unless you got really open hips. And then take an inhale, and if you can on your exhale, walk your hands out. Drop your head down. And focus even more on this deep breath in and this slow breath out, y'all. Let's stay the path. I want you to get all you can get. All right, everybody, from here, let's just start to walk our hands back out of this one. 
bend your back right knee, and then just walk your hands. You're going to rotate on your knees and walk your hands halfway around. We're going to come to floor frog. So as you walk halfway around, your ankles end up behind your knees. All right, and then, you know, again, maybe you want to stagger yourself with your neighbor on this one, y'all. Maybe not, I don't know. And then you can sink your hips back. You could walk your hands out. Drop your head down. And again, you, what you've done for yourself today here, you know, nobody else can do for you. Big Pharma's working real hard, y'all. Spending billions to get, you know, to, still, to make medications and pills that will replicate the internal pharmaceutical factory, you know, that you got percolating today. There is, in fact, a pharmaceutical factory in your brain and in your muscles. And we've stimulated both of those today. You're going to walk away from the park not only stronger, more balanced, better than before, but calmer. I mean, really balanced. More so than any pill or medication could make you. And accomplished. From here, everybody, walk your hands back out of this one. Rotate on your knees to the back of your mat, face the street where you will have half pigeon on your right leg. Make some adjustments, take it across. And when you're ready, walk your arms out, drop your head down. Should be right leg, unless you switched it on the other side. Deep diaphragm breathing should be right leg, unless you switched it on the other side. Hey, what's up there? You getting me? You getting me? All right, we're just about there. But walk your hands back out of this one. Now lean onto your right hip, turn to face La Jolla, stagger yourself, negotiate some space, and then see if you can take your legs and spread them as wide apart as you can get them in a V. Now once you get there, see if you can take your hands to the ground behind your hips, and then maybe work the flesh off your seat, but then slide forward a little bit wider. For some people, hands on the ground back here, pressing forward like that is good enough. For others still, we inhale, reach our hands to the sky, and exhale, just fold all the way down, everybody. Woo! If someone else that you knew, <laughs> maybe even someone you didn't know, dedicated an hour, whole hour, to your physical health, your mental clarity, and your emotional sense of balance, you'd be pretty grateful. You'd be like, dude, thank you. I don't know why. What can I do to, you know? You would thank them. All right? Thank yourself for being here. Nobody can do it for you. What's up, buddy? Uh, 
How are we doing down here? Okay. From here, walk your hands back out of this one. Swing both legs around to the top of your mat. And let's just roll it on back easily onto our back. Happy baby pose is waiting right there for y'all. Hey, what's up there? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hasha. You good. Got another little puppy right over here. I think he's peeing on his mom's mat. <laughs> Woo! And then, how about a spinal twist? Spinal twist of your choosing to finish out. Twist and hit both sides evenly. You folks joining us uh, online on YouTube. Hope you had a great practice today, everybody. Hope you enjoy this. Hope you get value out of this. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit that like button for me and leave me a comment. The Venmo is at Namasteve Yoga. And uh, depending on the weather tomorrow here in San Diego, we should be back in the morning. Namaste. Keep breathing. Once you're all evened out, take her back through the center. Pull both knees in. And then release. If you have that sweatshirt next to you, you might want to grab it. But lay back for a second, because everything we've done up until this point has really been to prepare us for this point. Let your toes fall open, lay back. Let your palms rest face up along your side body. Let's close our eyes. Close your eyes, take a big inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Hold full. Release. Let your breath settle. Let your body soften. And let your mind be still for our Shavasana. I'll guide us out in just a few moments. This guy's up for adoption, you said? Hmm? No, no. <laughs> Cobra would kill me. <laughs> but I'll announce it. <clears throat> How'd I do? Terrific. Yeah, I mean, did I? I'm very impressed. Just between myself. I have, I have Parkinson's. Oh. It was not bad. You could do it. I had a, there, there was a lady that came. And she just moved away. That's why she stopped coming. And she had she had it pretty bad. Yeah. I mean, and she would come to class, and the doctor said, "Hey, listen, it's helping you. I mean, it's not going to yeah. cure you, but it's helping it's you. So keep so keep going." Yeah, I think I'll go home and try to find a beginning class, beginner's class. 
Yeah. Yeah. Have no yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Really what part of Florida are you live in? Uh, my dad's like my dad's there. there right now. He's in Kissimmee, I think, right oh, now. Okay. Right now, uh, just okay. on vacation. Notice your overall state of being. I know for some of us, this is the calmest, most balanced we've probably felt while being conscious in quite a while. That's the main intention of this practice, to cease the fluctuations of our mind to soothe the agitated mind, to reboot our master computer. You've done yourself a huge service. If you're ready to move on with your day, just breathe lightly, perhaps wiggle your fingertips, toes, wrists, ankles. Option to roll on your side like you're sleeping on your side. And you've also got the option to just really gently make your way to seated. This is once again something that nobody else can do for you. You have to show up what you've done here today. Not only did you show up, you killed it. All right? Thank yourself. Tell yourself great job. Your brain's a supercomputer. Your internal dialogue are the programs we run. I thank you so much for allowing me to guide you through this, everybody. I love to do this. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for honoring the donation-based system that we use here. It allows us to share this practice with everybody. You can get it, you know, this in a studio, but it costs you 30 bucks a pop in a studio. So it's been my intention to make this accessible. So thank you for your generosity. Again, thank you for honoring that system. I appreciate you, and I hope you get value out of your time here. Namaste. Nice job. Fantastic, everybody. Hey, if you're new, the Venmo QR codes are in the back of the benches. There's some along the back of the park as well. It's real easy. There's a cash bin right over here. Um, let me know if you have questions. Also, if you're new, please grab your phone, open up your YouTube app, and subscribe to Namaste Yoga on YouTube. 
There's over 800 videos on my channel, uh, a great meditation that I do every morning, 10 minutes long. We'll see you all tomorrow morning. Enjoy your day. You did great, yeah, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Nice job. Oh, also, everybody, there's a, a beautiful little puppy over here that's up for adoption. If you want to stop over and uh, meet this little thing, that's how I got one of my dogs that you see running around here from a class here. So stop over and say hi. Are you getting another dog? No. Cobra would kill me. I didn't hear you. <laughs> Cobra would be, wow. Yeah, I remember joining my sister. Yeah, we, we were talking earlier. Little good one. Cobra, you go say hi to your new brother? Steve, you can match your other dog. I know, I know. I know. Yeah, this guy's going to be a little bigger. Hi, Cobra. Dixon needs a comeuppance. Yeah, Cobra would have my ass. He would, he would not be happy. Thank you. What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? How you been? Good to see you. How you been? What's been happening? Cold plunge and everything. Good? Cold plunge is good. The, the, the garage gym is good. I, I'm going to send the email today to cancel my 360, I think. Oh, you're not going anymore? I, my, my garage gym is just too good. Is that good? Yeah, it's fucking better. Are you going to invite me over? Well, well when, when they redid the floors, I told you. Yeah, you got the whole floor. Yeah. But, I mean, I have so many kettlebells, barbells, everything. But then how about Boxes. all the energy, the group? Yeah, no, I don't have that. <laughs> and sometimes I invite friends over to work out, but that, that's still... So I, I do miss that, but I'm not. Yeah. I'm going once a week, twice a week there, something like that. Yeah. There go. Hey, I'm, I'm Steve. How you doing? I'm DeAndre. I'm doing DeAndre. good, man. Good to meet better you. now. You mentioned the Venmo. Was there something yeah. you said about cash or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I got a cash bin. Uh, one's on my front porch. See that? That, right? just, that lady's just walking off it right there. Oh, okay. Two can big palm trees. You? Yeah, yeah. Right. We can do is that. Is it like any amount like that? That, yeah. that you feel donation based. Of? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna give. Me, I'm gonna head it to you right now. Go, cool, bud. Thanks. Good to meet you, bud. Did you ever go to the yard? So was that? I have not. Time? I have not. And you can get a day or a week for free or something like that. But that. that and I think I can get that if I wanted to pay. 140, which is what oh, I pay at, at the 360. Yeah. I guess not that bad. Um, How much is 360 rated? I think I pay what 140, but the yard is normally like 200 bucks or right around there. And um, I think because I teach a core power, I, I might get a discount or something like that. <laughs> okay. on that. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Are you teaching today or no? No, no. This is it. You doing hot later or no? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to practice or if I'm going to lift. I already played volleyball this morning. Oh my gosh! What time are you up? So. I can get up at five. Yeah. Play volleyball at six or six thirty. Four times a what week. What time did you go to bed? Like eight. Uh, I come on, eight thirty. No, no. Um, <laughs> I was, thank you. you. Hey, I and appreciate. You do this Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Tuesday, Sunday. Yeah, Tuesday, Thursday at nine. Nine. And then Saturday, Sunday at ten. All right, I'm gonna be back. Cool. You, Good nice to meet you. you. Thank you very Stop. much. I appreciate that. No worries. Um, How's YouTube doing? Good. Yeah, the same. Well, let me know when you want to do the podcast. Yes. I would love to have you on. Let's. Uh, thank you. I still like your collection box up there. Okay, good. Um, What's your schedule like this month or more May? Is your heart yeah, to get sometimes? Yeah. Um, for coffee, I don't think we've had coffee once. Yeah, well, I usually. One of these days, maybe we'll have a cup of coffee, we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. And then talk about the podcast. So just yeah. text me, whatever okay. you want. Okay. You know, I'd love to have you on. I, I, thank you. The how how many are you? Would love you. Everyone loves you. Are you uh, just recording those every week? Hey, what are you doing? Uh, we do them uh, usually three times a month. Three times a month. We do them less, yeah. Okay. And I usually shoot them in San Diego, but sometimes I travel and sometimes we do them on Zoom. But we yeah. do it in my studio. Yeah, cool. Uh, you got a home studio? Yeah, it's, well, my home is now my studio. I don't yeah. really live there anymore. But, okay. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's become work. Yeah, yeah. All right. But yeah, no, it's all here in San Diego. Anyway. Cool, buddy. Thank you, sir. Thanks, man. Nice You're job. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. See, I was just checking back on you. You did great the whole class, except for that half pigeon. I was like, I know she's going to mess that up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. Hey, what's up there? Come here, come here. I'm just messing with you. Come on. Sorry, my bad.
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Rochelle. Always good to enjoy your uh, yes. Always good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How'd it go, all right? Yeah, really good. Good. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, you did? She lives here. Yeah, so Good deal. Oh, I'm, what's your name? Lisa. Lisa, I'm Steve. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. It's my daughter, Mia. I'll be back. It's good. Awesome. Good to see you. Hey, you folks at home, I forgot about y'all. We're, we're going to tune off. <laughs> Hit that like button for me, please. And subscribe when you haven't. We'll talk to you later.